hi there, YouTube viewers. It is I, Mac, and I will be your host on today's episode of The Nerd Collective. Today, I will be giving you my hands-on first impressions of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 campaign. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm quite impressed with their graphics. Call of Duty in the past has tend to, needless to say, push me off with their repetitiveness and the same old, same old, just new guns with a different skin. But honestly, this Call of Duty is bringing me back towards their side, I'm not going to lie. Attention to detail they have, the motion capture on their faces, especially with Christopher Maloney from Law & Order, even the minor detail within the game. In between each mission, you can go into an area called the Safe House, which is actually pretty cool in my opinion. You can go in there, customize your character, change their wardrobe, uh, change what they look like, uh, camo skins such as that, customization for the weapons, look at the medals you've received throughout the campaign, uh, any collectibles you may have gotten, Every time you level up, you earn new content such as weapons, weapon skins, more armor for your character. You can even prestige once you reach a certain level, which is surprising that they would add that to single player alone. Around the safe house, you can find areas such as the cyber core station, which allow you to upgrade your character, such as jetpack, hacking enemies, running on walls, sending nanobots to attack your enemies. There's also the Combat Immersion Station, which allows you to go into a side mission type horde mode area, which allows you to test your skills, weapons, and abilities against an endless horde of enemies. Before you deploy yourself into the next mission, you can find yourself the Armory, which allows you to customize your weapon, attachments, sights, camo, and what have you, just like in multiplayer, which I found to be a nice little feature that they added just to give yourself just that little bit more of customization, which is always nice. Once you deploy yourself into mission, you'll find quite a bit of new features that honestly I found really surprising and nice to have, such as if you turn on the tactical mode, you're able to see a grid on the ground, which shows where heavy enemy fire is concentrated on. You can see what type of enemy they are, whether they're a sniper, assault, whether they're a robot that you're able to hack or friendlies that will be fighting alongside you. The enemy will be sending quite a bit of mechanized enemies at you, which is actually quite fun because with your abilities you're able to hack them, make them fight amongst themselves, make them blow up causing other enemies around them to catch on fire, or send out an electric pulse to stun them. If drones are coming at you, you have the ability to hack them and control them and make them attack the enemies, or you can just choose to detonate them all at once. Overall, I definitely recommend this campaign as opposed to the last installments. There's a lot more immersion, as well as a lot more customization within this campaign. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Nerd Collective, and I hope to see you on our next episode where I will be reviewing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. See you next time, YouTube.